The candidates in South Korea's presidential election coming up this Wednesday are nearing the end of their campaigns. The Democratic Party of Korea's candidate, Lee Jae-myung, was campaigning in Seoul on Sunday, trying to rally as much support as he can in what's one of this election's most fiercely contested regions. He pledged that he will bring down the country's skyrocketing home prices and create more opportunities for young people. Our Kim do yeon followed the E campaign today and files this report. The ruling Democratic Party of Korea's presidential candidate Lee Jae-myung is focusing on winning support in one of the regions where the race will be the tightest in this election, Seoul. With six rallies on Sunday in busy areas of the capital, his first main topic was one of the election's biggest issues, the people unable to afford a home because of runaway prices. The transaction system is going to change, without a doubt, in a way that supports one house for one family. For me too, one house is all I have, but it's the country's responsibility to respect the dream of home ownership and to make it possible. He also said transportation will improve for many Seoul residents as he plans to extend train lines connecting the city proper with the rest of the capital region. Here in Songbuk District, Lee Jae-myung claimed that the north side of the city has been left behind in many development plans. He said that using his experience as the governor of the surrounding province, he will make sure the development projects are distributed fairly. Another topic of his speeches throughout the day was helping the country's struggling young adults as he stopped in neighborhoods near college campuses such as Shinchon. He said it's the fault of the older generation, including himself, that young people have fewer opportunities to achieve a comfortable life. Not a country where young people are divided by gender and fighting, but an affluent country with lots of opportunities, where people can compete cooperatively, take on bold challenges, and get back up even after failure. He promised policies to provide young adults with more opportunities, including law schools held online and through night classes. He also said he will invest more into arts and culture so that young adults can use their creativity to the fullest. Kim Do-yeon, Arirang News.